Club. My name's Trisha Hershberger. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And this is a show where we get to watch movies with you. We watch mm-hmm. them on Netflix, and then you record yourself talking about them. Um, and if you don't have Netflix, you can go to netflix.com slash sourcefed for a free month of instant streaming. You're damn right, Trisha Hershberger. And today we watched a film that is a comedy film, it is a film I enjoy from a couple of boys that I absolutely enjoy. The movie is called Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. Trisha, you found this movie to be slightly uncomfortable, didn't you? I found this movie to be very uncomfortable. Um, I like stupid humor. Yeah. But this was this was not smart stupid humor, if that makes sense. So I wasn't so into it. Um, and I know everyone at the office got a good laugh at me watching it. They even filmed it. That's it. We have proof. We have Trisha watching some select scenes of the film. Let's watch now. Oh, God. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Not funny at all. Like, just horribly painful to watch. This movie is truly a masterpiece. Said no one ever. It's like the Taco Bell of movies. It's best enjoyed really late at night and if you're really drunk. Even then, it's just a waste of time. So the movie's about two boys who are given a billion dollars. They blow the billion dollars, and the schlang uh, president says, we're gonna sue you for all the money you spent. So they don't know what to do. So they run away from Hollywood. They go and find a get-rich-quick scheme uh, with a with the Swallow Valley Mall. Yeah. And decide, we're gonna make a billion dollars with this mall. With this mall. Even people who like poop jokes won't like this film. Why do we choose this movie? <laughs> this is such a terrible movie. <laughs> this movie stars Tim Heidecker and Eric Wareheim yep. of the cartoon on Adult Swim, uh, Tom Goes to the Mayor. Mm-hmm. Also the brilliant sketch comedy show, Tim and Eric's awesome show, Great Job. Also Will Ferrell is in this yeah. movie. And he is very funny. And John C. Riley is in this yeah. movie. Yeah. And I did not like him in it. Will Forte's in it. I also did not like his character. <laughs> I think the only thing that was missing in this lineup was some dick. Where's Andy, guys? There's a load of, you know, comedy royalty in this, and even they failed to be funny in this film. The weird editing jokes and the like weird timing of line reads and stuff, that was the stuff okay, that I liked good, and found good. funny. So I was into that. I wasn't into like the plots that made no sense and just the poop jokes and the weird sex stuff. And like, I guess it's the plot and the storyline ruined it for me. I think what they're doing is, is they're showing us what the world is like, but taking all of the things that people find uncomfortably not funny about the world and trying to make and it trying funny. Trying to make it funny. There's some parts of it that I'm like, oh, that was clever and funny. Yeah, that part's just weird and doesn't do it for me. So I guess I'm just one of those people that don't get it. But this film to me seemed like a bunch of friends make a movie that they think is hilarious and like everyone else is like, I'm glad you all think it's funny. Okay, I you can know see what that. I mean? Shame on you, Steve. This is a bad film. Why did you make us watch this? Please don't make us watch anything like this again. Am I watching? I think I liked it. Tim and Eric take comedy and they basically turn it upside down. They're taking unconventional things and 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 just making them funny. It's unlike really anything that's out there. To me, Tim and Eric are like comedy superheroes. They take comedy and they just stretch the f- out of it and test the limits of comedy. Good for them for testing it, but I found the majority of that film torture to watch. <laughs> All right. I guess the only bad thing that I can personally say about this movie is that I think that it just gets a little too formulaic. The story is just kind of whatevs, but it's mm-hmm. Tim and Eric. It's funny. It's keeping your attention the whole time. There's wacky hijinks. There's wacky shit happening. And there's a little something for everybody, even Trisha, who did laugh and did uh, enjoy but, some parts But of the I movie. like some stupid humor. So yeah. I think that there was definitely some stuff in it that there for me. I don't know that there would be stuff in it there for everyone. So anyway, that's it for this edition of Movie Club. Please join us next time when we'll be watching. <gasps> so if you want to join us for Movie Club next week, you can go to netflix.com slash sourcefed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Shrim! Shrim!
And for some reason, his balls were hanging out, too. I don't know why his balls were hanging out when he was getting his dick pierced. I guess I never had my dick pierced, so I don't know. 